So what is up with Team Saunders? Well, I guess there's a lot of new going on in our world. First of all, welcome to our new studio. This has kind of been in the works for a while. We've actually had a few videos in here already, but uh, we're excited to use this, created this space so that we could have a nice aesthetic when we share our thoughts and feedback on what is going on with Team Saunders. So yeah, what's happening in our world right now is we've actually enjoyed a little bit of off season, a little bit of off season. And now we're starting to think about ramping things back up. We have been doing some swim bike run and there's some focus training going on, but really right now just keeping everything under control and manageable, not really targeting race season just yet, trying to do all the right things in the preseason so that when race season and race prep comes around, we'll be ready to go. Yeah, we're really putting a big focus on building our base so that when we have a strong, solid foundation, when it comes time to do the key workouts, we have something to build upon. So exciting where we are now and the thought of where we're going. One of the things that we're really kind of doing right now is we're running a lot, but I say that, but we're not really running hard or intense. And we're looking at already in the month of January, running more miles than we've run in a long, long time. But it's actually been easy miles and we're starting to see our paces get faster as we go through this process. And we can't wait to share what we've been doing behind the scenes for the run training. And of course, that's gonna be an episode coming up pretty soon. While all our run has been pretty base and easy, we have been diving a little bit into building our FTP on the bike. Uh, we've been doing some structured workouts on the bike. Uh, I feel like gains are already being made even though we're not doing intense workouts but consistent workouts and I'm excited. I don't know some mornings after the ride you do say that was pretty intense. Yeah I, I will say the first few weeks I was like oh man that was tough but as we've been going like oh these that's not so bad anymore. And you say that and probably the next workout's gonna have no, us no like kidding. in, in a pool of sweat but that's something exciting, you know, we are trying to raise that FTP, following some structure there. Of course, we're gonna break that all down and share exactly what process we've been following and how we're trying to get to the end result, which ultimately is raising that FTP in time for training for race season. But it's been some work. We're riding four times a week, mm -hmm. which is, again, very consistently four times a week, which is something different than what we're used to as well. Definitely putting those new Zwift Hub ones to good use. And that's the great thing too, I think about the preseason is that you can pick one aspect that you really wanna build upon, maybe work on your weaknesses or work on something that you didn't feel was quite right in the past few seasons. And so I'm kind of glad to have this time without having the pressure right. of building upon our FTP and our base and everything. So that's it's been a nice, again, a little breath of fresh air that there doesn't seem to be as much pressure right now without focusing on a race. One thing we haven't focused much on is the swim. Um, one, because we swim in an outdoor pool and the heater had been broken for quite some time. And once it was finally fixed, we uh, had a very cold Arctic blast come through Austin and it was, it was chilly. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty brutal. I mean, we were in, I mean, again, for, for Texas, we were in the 20s, which is mm -hmm. pretty brutal. If we really had to swim, if there was a need to swim, if we were, approaching a race very close, we definitely would have done it. Um, we could have got it and gotten in the wetsuits and swam when the heater was out. But again, right now it's about focusing on the things that we really think we need to pay attention to, some things that not necessarily were neglected, but just kind of starting back a little bit at square one because you know I've always said you can't build the house if you don't have a great right. foundation. And I think that our base building is the foundation and I'm excited to see where it goes. 
Unrelated to the training that we have done so far, we are putting the knowledge we have gained over the years of doing triathlon. We've created a new series that we put out midweek centered around triathlon tips. I think between the two of us, we have almost 30 years of triathlon experience. And, you know, there have been a lot of nuggets that we've picked up along the way. And we get asked all the time for feedback or how do you do this or what equipment do you use? And I think sometimes, especially as a new or beginner triathlete trying to get into the sport, it can really feel overwhelming. And we hope to make the tri-tip series really user-friendly and, and we don't want to put out with the fluff. We just want to get to the point and share the tips that we've learned. And we're always welcoming to suggestions on what content we should cover, but that's you know, something we've been wanting to do for years and now we finally bit the bullet. Of course, we have this nice space to do it in. So look for those midweek every week and that's been a fun project that we got started and looking forward to see where that goes as well. But don't worry, we are still going to be releasing our weekly Sunday episode just like we have been the past three years. Yeah, still following our journey, our ups and downs, and hopefully in 2024, a lot more ups. And if things continue to go in the trajectory they have been so far these first three weeks of January, there's gonna be some good things Feeling to celebrate good. by the time we get to the heart of the triathlon season. And we can't wait to share it with you all. And as always, we are grateful for the follows, the likes, the shares, the support, all the messages. And we'll see you again next time.